So it was you again, huh? You destroyed the picture collection worth a few million dollars? I wasn't planning on it, but somehow it worked out that way. Otherwise, that's everything? I got out of there fast. It was no picnic. I really was in danger, but I pulled it off. I took the wife and daughter and immediately left the country. Sam was right. If they decided to find Frank in Europe and take revenge almost five years after he disappeared, they wouldn't let me just leave after betraying them. And you're willing to say all that you've now said to me in front of a court? Give evidence against all those men? Don't you think the situation will be a lot worse for you? What you're planning to do now isn't betrayal. It's more like treason. If these people go to jail, or better yet, death row, they won't be able to take revenge on me. At least not as easily as if they were free. I am willing to give evidence against them if you ensure our protection and after the trial, a new identity for me, my wife, and my daughter. If we manage to pull it off, it'll be the biggest legal battle this country's ever seen. It's an interesting offer. I don't know if it's moral to help somebody like you, but I think the results will be worth it. I think we'll help you. Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for 10 years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shortest sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the U.S. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. We started a whole new life. This piece was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance. That's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life might not get anything at all.
I'm feeling paranoid, I couldn't trust my clientele The Marlboro glows, I blow the smoke through my nose You reek with your soul, Lord, I know I took road 87 upstate New York I'm feeling like a sense of what must be in store Got an angel on my right, the devil on my left Conscious being on my brain For every single death I'm seeing ghosts I'm being haunted like the telltale heart I'm on the road alone, headlights in the dark I never ever ride it, I kept my mouth shut That calm all around and I'm running out of luck Next soldier wants my job, better watch my back Or I'll be the one in the trunk and whack Where the gangsters go when they die They don't go to heaven where the angels fly Where the gangsters go when they die Show it pays if you're rich pops Reach the bulls just to bribe the judge 